Hello, and welcome today. I am shipping. It is not often that I send something as large as this, as far as this is going. Um, but this, deep within this plastic cocoon, is a Commodore 1084 monitor destined for the United States. And soon it will be hooked up to the Commodore 128 in both 40 and 80 column mode. When shipping things like this, I find that this bubble wrap, of which you can see I have used a lot, because this is, well, I don't know how much I've used. I've used a lot. The monitor is now a whole lot bigger than it used to be. But if it's not going to get there in one piece and working, I mean, really, what's the point? And some shipping companies have, I've seen stories recently online of pets being delivered in various stages of smash it up in this. So anyway, um, I have wrapped and wrapped and wrapped. Now I'm probably not finished with the packing because I have next to me a box. And this box is from Home Depot. And it is meant for moving, but shipping is a beautiful thing as well. Um, and it's heavy duty and it would be just almost perfectly the right size. Um, the only time that I have ever shipped a pet computer anywhere, I have used one of these Home Depot boxes. They are very similar in size to what the original pets came in. Um, of course, I didn't have the original styrofoam that they came packed in, but still, it worked out very well. It made it from Canada over to Europe. So, uh, I'm going to see what else I need to do to uh, make sure that this ships safely. And uh, if all goes well, today. So, stay home, stay safe, stay tuned. Oh, hello. So here is the 1084, all packed up and ready to make a safe journey. I used an awful lot of bubble wrap, an awful lot of tape, and a really good, strong box. So, all I gotta do now is print out the labels. And I'm gonna write fragile here and there and everywhere. And then I have to uh, ship it. So, onward we go. Hello. So, to continue, I have shipped the 1084 monitor. And I'm just ready to, you know, put things away and tidy up. And it was recycling day, so there's much to do. And, you know, the garage is, um, well, a mess, somewhat. But I just thought I would leave you with one more moment. And that is, a while ago, I mean, I have too many 1541 disk drives. I have too much of everything. But a while ago, I managed to get more 1541 disk drives. Um, I didn't want to see them get trashed. And then I, I volunteered to go through the ones the T-Pug had left over. And have I looked at any of these? No, none at all. They are in the garage, awaiting me to be ready to examine them. And there are By my count, 39 of them. I'm not, I know where kind of in the pile mine start and T-Pug start, but I know that the fellow who was minding these and, and had a look at many of them also has notes on them. So um, it will not be hard to figure out who's is who's and what's is what's. Anyway, hopefully I will soon start the 1541 uh, Arama project where I start and I look and I diagnose and decide what could be fixed, what could not be fixed, what parts are good to save other units. Anyway, stay home, stay safe. Bye for now.